Hello, and welcome to our lightning talk, Let's Get Together, Librarian Faculty Collaboration on an Open Test Bank Project. I'm Caitlin Balgaman. And I'm Michael Slavkin. And we are going to be just briefly talking about our project from this year uh, that developed Open Test Bank items. At our small private institution, OER adoptions are starting to gain momentum. However, many instructors both here and at other institutions value the ancillary materials that traditional textbooks often come with. By creating open test banks for these textbooks, we hope to encourage OER adoption locally and more broadly. The process of creating an open test bank involves students putting themselves in the seat of the instructor and considering larger pedagogical questions. It also promotes deep engagement with the material and metacognition because students are thinking about the material in new ways and preparing to present the information to their peers via quizzes. Uh, finally, test banks are a great way to give back to the OER community. We've benefited so much from all the work of instructors around the country and the world with the wonderful resources they've created, and an open test bank is a simple way to contribute. So this project primarily started by faculty working with an open education resource course redesign grant during the 2020 to 2021 academic year. We also were able to receive a small grant from Marion University Center for Teaching and Learning that provided us an opportunity to work collaboratively between the university uh, library and Department of Psychological Science and Counseling. Uh, the two faculty and um, Caitlin were able to meet um, before the spring semester to plan out basically what would happen and when. We worked with two classes, a graduate research methods class and an undergraduate psychology cognitive science course. Um, basically, throughout the course of the semester, we met monthly as a team just to verify the steps that we had taken and principally what work we had been engaging in throughout the course of that month. Here's a brief look at our process. First, instructors taught students how to craft multiple choice and essay questions, including how to create incorrect answers that would help assess student understanding of the material. Uh, students were then assigned to create eight multiple choice and two essay questions per assigned chapter. For the graduate level research methods class, that was every three chapters. And for the undergraduate level cognitive science class, that was every chapter. Um, after students submitted their first questions, the instructors did a follow up to go over examples of well crafted questions from the class so far in order to give direction to students as they continue to create questions. The next part was data collection because the counseling 605 was a research methods class. They took the opportunity to practice their research skills by creating a survey about the process of student question creation for the undergraduate class, Cognitive Science. The students provided unique questions and insights that we as faculty and staff would not have considered, um, such as how writing questions for authentic classroom use affected students' perceptions of their own capabilities, as well as perceptions of their peers. We also conducted focus groups with both graduate and undergraduate classes and collected quantitative data um, which we're still in the process of doing on test grades, uh, drop fail withdraw rates, and overall course grades. From there, we collected students submitted questions from the semester and formatted them, again, an ongoing process for import into Respondus, a software tool for creating and managing exams. As I said, this is ongoing. Next up, we'll be openly publishing our test bank to multiple repositories. So based on our initial results, primarily what we're able to talk about today is um, we were able to develop approximately 2,000 multiple choice questions for the undergraduate course um, with approximately 500 essay questions um, that students were able to develop and faculty would review and um, make changes to to ensure uh, their stability as multiple choice and essay items. At the graduate level, um, we had less students and less students participating with each chapter. They only did one of every three chapters. So we had approximately 660 questions um, as multiple choice questions, as well as 75 essay questions. So in general, um, around 2,500 multiple choice items across the two domains and almost 600 essay questions across cognitive science, as well as research methods and statistics. 
So in general, what students basically reported was they very much enjoyed the experience, even though this was a mandated assignment. And even though students did say, you know, at the beginning that they felt like, hey, isn't this the faculty member's job to create these questions? Uh, overall, there was a sense of improved engagement as a small community of learners. Students really did feel like they were able to take control of the knowledge and their learning related to the chapters where they developed these OER materials. It also ensured that there was a greater sort of self-reflection or metacognition about the items that they developed, which tended to help their grades um, anecdotally on quizzes and tests because students said that they were better able to recognize material uh, and recognize their own questions um, based on what they were seeing on these quizzes. There was a deeper appreciation um, and a, a greater thinking about their own thinking. So there was a stronger metacognitive awareness of what it was expected to know the content material and to really be able to utilize the content to understand what was going on in the class as well as develop appropriate test items for the class. Further, students generally reported less anxiety uh, and less concerns about completing standard tests, uh, whether those were weekly or biweekly, uh, because they were more familiar with how the material was going to be evaluated, and as a result, felt like they had a stronger appreciation of what was going to be asked and how it was going to be asked. So after this pilot semester, we're really happy with the positive impact this open test bag project has had on the students and their learning. Um, but we've learned a few things along the way, and we have a few recommendations for replication. Um, first, determine how you'll be managing and sharing the student created questions at the start and start with a formatting template for student questions. This is the biggest thing I wish I had figured out beforehand um, is the formatting template that allows questions to be exported to many different LMS systems via Respondus. Um, the Respondus software is something our campus already had and was a big help in importing all the questions and converting them to other LMSs. It has a specific format for questions um, for intake and going forward, I will be providing faculty with a student question template and brief instructions so students can turn in their questions already formatted. Um, this makes it easy for faculty and librarians to use in uh, Canvas here um, and publish openly. Um, the next thing is setting clear expectations for student generated questions and being transparent with students about the approach. Students really un appreciate understanding the why. Um, determine how to create effective multiple choice and essay questions before their first submission. There was some instruction on this, but students expressed that they wanted some more examples of good test questions and feedback on how their questions were after they turned in a few. Uh, and finally, we recommend periodically revisiting the question creation standards throughout the semester and creating some time to meet with students for reflection and feedback throughout the semester as a formative assessment. Our takeaways from uh, the experience were really that faculty really appreciated the chance to work uh, with our colleagues in the library uh, and just the opportunity to spend so much more time communicating about effective strategy and effective design to develop these OERs was really a wonderful experience. Um, further, students really seem to have a better appreciation of just how difficult it is for faculty to develop their own source material for courses. And so I think uh, one, of the, one of the takeaways that wasn't expected was perhaps a greater appreciation from students of just how challenging it is to develop effective test items and an appreciation for the work that faculty do in developing test materials. Uh, the faculty and library services working more closely together throughout the course of the semester was just a wonderful opportunity. And certainly the partnership in examining solid OER textbooks, building class materials on Canvas and then sharing them in the future with um, the open community is uh, a wonderful takeaway and certainly something that we all appreciated. All right, thanks for joining us and please feel free to contact us with any questions and have a great rest of your conference. Thanks so much.